Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a brand new video. We are playing with the Disney Encanto um, Imagine Ink Magic Ink Pictures. This is a little book with an Imagine Ink marker. This is a mess free marker. So basically everything inside, every picture is pretty much blank. And we're gonna be using the marker to reveal the colors. It says reveal a rainbow of colors and magic pictures and games inside. So we're gonna go ahead and start by removing this right here. And we're gonna open this up. All right, so here is the marker. And I'm going to flip through and see what little games and pictures we can color in. Alrighty, so this is the first page. We're gonna go ahead and start coloring it in. Let's go ahead and reveal these colors. Okay, so we have Antonio, and of course, he has his animal friends right by his side. This is so cool, you guys. Go really quickly because we have a few pages to go through. How this book works it says, Use your Imaginic marker to search for and reveal hidden images. Okay, so basically, all the background is yellow with flowers and butterflies just really cute designs so yeah that's the first page let's see what else we can do we have a little puzzle here okay let's see this one says color in the dotted rectangle then draw lines to connect the characters that match okay so it says to color in this rectangle okay so we have the toucan that just appeared we have Two more animals. All right, so we have Antonio's friends. We're gonna go ahead and match them up. So number one goes with letter C, number three goes with B, and number two goes with A. Let me go ahead and color these in as well. These are super fun to play with, just to see what colors and what lies beneath. Okay. So that one's complete. The answers are down here. Let's see what else we can do. This is a little reveal the code, then use it to decipher the message. What's this one? Follow the letters in magical to get through the maze. Okay, so we start at the top and we basically have to create the word magical until we get to the very end right here. So we have M A. G I C A L that spells magical and then we got to look for another M so M and spell it all out again M A G I C A L all right one more time M A G I C A L all right, so we finished the maze. Let's see what else we can do. Okay, this looks really detailed, so I'm gonna skip it. This is a tic-tac-toe, so you can play with your friends. Okay, so color the boxes to find which square completes the picture. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and color this box first. This appears to be a chameleon. And then we gotta figure out which one of these boxes is what we just colored in. Which one matches it? Let's see. Hmm. All right, so we got our answer. We have this one that matches this one. So the answer is C. Yep, letter C was correct. So that was really quick and easy. All right, so we have search the puzzle below for six words. Okay, I love word puzzles. So, first one is bird. Got that one. Next is cat. Hmm, where's cat? Right here. Got that one. Next is strong. Right here, right across. Then it's home. I see it going downward. Tree. Let's see. Tree's going downward right here. And then we have the last one, which is sun. Sun is going down right here. All right, so that was really quick and fun. The search puzzle 
is complete. And then this one, this is a fun little game. It says color in one shape at a time. Try to uncover three butterflies before you uncover, uncover three birds. Color in Antonio. Let's color in the background, you guys. Let's see what pattern is back here. We have a cool pink and orange zigzag print in the background. So the goal here is to first find three butterflies. But if we find three birds first, then we lose. So the goal is to find three butterflies without finding three birds. So let's see. We can pretty much uncover any one of these. So I'm going to do this one right here. Hopefully it is a butterfly. Okay, this one's empty. Let's keep going. What about this one? Is this one a butter? Ooh, okay, same thing. Let's try this one. Oh my goodness, same thing. Okay, let's try one more. Same thing. I'm getting all empties, you guys. Let's try another one. Hopefully, we get a butterfly. Same thing. I haven't had any luck yet. Let's try to find a butterfly. Let's see if we have one right here. Okay, no. What about over here? Still no. What about down here? Oh my gosh, I have not even found one butterfly or bird. So let's do this one up here. Still no. Still no. No, I'm gonna do this a little bit quicker. Haven't even found one yet, that's crazy. Let's just go up and down, see what comes up first. Yay, we got our first butterfly. Okay. Let's do over here. Come on, two more butterflies. Found one. I need one more butterfly to win. There it is. I found three butterflies in a row. All right, so that's pretty much complete. So we have a little maze here. It says, guide Antonio and his friends through the maze. If you see a green square, turn around. Okay, so first I'm going to color in Antonio and his animal friends. And let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to start right here and then we have to end over here. So I'm going to go down. Let's see if we encounter any green squares. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can get through this. Oh. There's a green square right there. So I'm gonna have to go in here. Okay, going down. Oh, there's another green square, so I cannot go downward. I have to go upward. And what about if we turn this way? Oop, green square right there. So I'm gonna have to go up and up this way. Let's try to go all the way downward. Oh, green square, so I have to turn this way now. Upward, upward, sideways, let's go down this way. Hopefully this is the way out. I think it, this is the only path out. Going this way, have not gone any green squares yet. Oh, there's a green square right here. Oh no, is it? I think I did it. All right, so we got to the finish line. Okay, so this one's pretty much done. Okay, I love these. These are, can you spot four differences between the two pictures? So first we're gonna do is color it in all the way and we're going to reveal uh, four differences between these two pictures. So we have to find four different things between these two photos. Let me color this really quickly. Okay, I can already spot a difference. Can you guys see something different so far? Okay, so here are the two photos. What can we see that are different? So I can already see that the shoes are different. That's one. I can see that the neck tie is different. The vest is different. And one more. What am I missing? I think it's just his outfit that's different. 
I guess this one, the shirt, this shirt counts as one. The vest counts as another. The necktie counts as another. And the shoes count as another. So I'm assuming that that is four. Scarf, yep, scarf, vest, belt, and shoes. Yeah, so we got it correct. Let's move on. So this one says color in the picture and then find the items below. So we have four items to find, but first we got to color in this entire rectangle. Let's see what we reveal. We have a super cool background, pink and purple with squiggly lines. And then we can already see images popping out. Almost done, halfway down. Okay, I see a sun, flowers, leaves, and I see four, the four images already. We have the hummingbird, we have the vulture, we have the palm tree, and we have this animal right here, Chigu, Chigurgo, Chigurgo. I'm not sure how you say that, but we found all four of them. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to be doing one more game. It says color the, in the picture to answer the questions below. So let's see what this picture is first to answer the questions. We have the Encanto house. We have the Casita. Okay, let me color it in all the way. Beautiful home. The Casita Madrigal. And then it says, how many palm trees? So, let's see, how many palm trees do we see? We see one, two, three, four, five, six. I see six palm trees. Let's see. What is under here? Okay, I guess we're supposed to put in the answer here. How many handrails? Hmm. Handrails. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I am wrong. We'll check the answer right now. But let me just shake these in really quickly. And then it says, how many candles? How many candles do we see, guys? Of course, there's only one candle, and it's right here in Abuela's room. So, the answer is six, four, and one. Okay, so that pretty much is it for this little cute Imagine Ink pictures. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun playing with this Imagine Ink picture book there was a lot of games to play and there's still some left that i didn't do that i can go ahead and do later so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos bye everyone